Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm just a fellow who loves beer, and today I'll be drinking my 478th different beer, Fuller, Smith, and Turner, PLC, Griffin, Breweries. What? Yes! It is a giant, big, long title. Brewed by Fuller, Smith, and Turner, PLC, Griffin, Brewery. <laughs> Or more commonly, Fuller's London Pride. Didn't really get much of a head off of that, probably about half of a finger. It is very slightly off-white. Um, a wonderful, I want to say it's almost an amber color. Carbonation isn't really kicking up at all in it. Yep. Yeah. They're based out of Cheswick, London, England and were established in 1845. Off the can, it's noted as England's finest premium ale, and in the title it's expanding to London Pride Outstanding Premium Ale. The spear clocks in at 4.7%, and besides its note that it contains malted barley, there is no product information available. Off their website, Fuller's London Pride is an award-winning classic, a rich, smooth, and wonderfully balanced beer. Its distinctive malty base is complemented by well-developed hopped character. From adding Target, Challenger, and North Down varieties to the brew, London Pride has twice been awarded Champion Best Bitter at the I don't is it Camera Car at the Camera. Uh, Great British Beer Festival in 1979 and 1995, and achieved the ultimate accolade of Champion Beer of Britain in 1979. It has won a host of awards around the world, including being crowned Supreme Champion at the 2000 International Beer and Cider Competition. For an impressive history lesson, check out the Wikipedia entry for Fuller's Brewery. It's great, and packed with more tidbits than I have time to cram in here. Hearsay, I call Wikipedia, but still, awesome. Um, I'll just say that it's epic, and you should check it out. This is the company's flagship beer, uh, brewed for over 169 years. Let's give it a try. Wow. <laughs> wow. And what I gather from it, the aroma is just amazing. I'm getting malt and herbs and citrus, but darker. Almost a floral bouquet, but it keeps rounding back to citrus hops for me. The taste is a light viscosity swirling around the palate, but dropping mad heavy body flavor. Hops dominate, but are soft and floral, and let the grain peek through like sunbeams in a storm. The taste lingers like crumbs in a beard, and the hops are the last to leave. It's just awesome. I can't help but envision how perfect this would be with proper English fish and chips. On my metric system, I'll give it a 2. Excellent. I am impressed and feel it stands above. Truly an outstanding premium ale. You know what? That pour that I did... I didn't really get much head, so I'm going to finish off the can and see what can come up out of it. Nice, heavy, heavy, heavy. And we're not really seeing that much. But you know what? Whatever. Excellent beer. Cheers. <laughs>